welcome to Pro World Live. I'm Danielle from Pro World. It's me behind a camera. <laughs> and we are here today to tell you everything you could possibly know about the Virtuoso printer and what ink set you should uh, be looking into when purchasing. Um, so like always, tune in, let us know where you're chiming in from, um, give us your, your state, we'll give you a shout out. Um, you know, as we get people rolling in, we'll, we'll do that. Um, and if you have questions, absolutely post them in the, in the, uh, comments section. We'll be happy to answer any of them that you have regarding the easy subly or subway jet ink. Um, it is a, a really important topic and probably the most confusing, uh, for customers. So it's a question that we get quite often. So I figured this should probably answer all of the questions for you. All right. Do we have, do we have any um, shout outs ready yet? We do yet? have a few coming in. We got some coming in from West Virginia. We got some from Philly, Philly, uh, South Jersey's checking in. Okalaka, Florida. <laughs> I love saying that. Louisiana <laughs> is in the house and Texas is checking in and I'm sure there's more coming up. They're just waiting to pop up on the screen. All right. So if you already have a virtuoso printer and you're using a particular ink set, um, I'm going to kind of tell you what you can do with that particular ink and what you can look into. Um, the two main ink sets that the Virtuoso printer offers is the Easy Subly ink and the Subblejet. The Subblejet ink came out first, and that is uh, manufactured, by, manufactured by Sawgrass. And then the Easy Subly ink came out a few years ago, and that's manufactured by Sawgrass as well, but with the addition of Caesar involved. And the Easy Subly ink is really to be used with Easy Subly vinyl. But many of you are wondering, well, what's the difference between the ink? The main difference is really that there's no difference. Um, when you're working with either ink set, you can absolutely do everything that you see here. The only change is you just need different paper. The different paper will give you the result that you need for the substrate that you're printing on. All right, so do we have any questions before I keep going or shout outs that you want to do? Yeah, let me get back to the shout outs. One second. Uh, okay, we got Long Beach, California checking in, Erie, PA, Washington, D.C., soon to be our 51st state. Congratulations. Jacksonville, Florida is checking in. Bloomingdale, Illinois. Detroit is in the house. Michigan. Berlin, Maryland. Never heard of it. <laughs> but I, I think I have actually. No. Virginia again. North Virginia checking in. Jacksonville, Ohio. Or Jacksonville, Florida, Ohio. All right. Lots uh, of them today. Yes. And Toronto is checking in. Um, hey. Okay. <laughs> okay. So let's start with the first set of ink. Subblejet uh, UHD ink is now uh, what the ink is that the that Sawgrass has. So they up upgraded it from just Subblejet R to HD to UHD. So with Subblejet ink, you are able to print on all these products. You can print on hard surface products and 100% white polyester. And how you do that is with the text print paper. That will allow you to print on those products. Now, if you're saying, well, I want to do shirts like this black tee, then you can put the Easy Subly vinyl into your printer, print on it, and then do the process of weeding, masking, and then heat press that onto your fabric. And now you're able to have a sublimation vinyl on your garment. And that's all with the Subblejet ink. Now the other type of ink, the Easy Subly ink, that is really designed to print on the Easy Subly vinyl. That will give you your best results with using that vinyl. With that, it's the same process as a subway jet. You just uh, print it, weed it, mask it, print it on your shirt. Now you can do your dark fabrics, your light, your 50-50 blends. That's with the Easy Subly. Now, if you have the Easy Subly ink and also want to do your hard surface products, 
just use the text print paper. So as you can see, the inks are very similar. When you're deciding on what ink to buy with the printer, you want to determine what you will be doing more of. So if you're deciding that you want to move forward with more hard surface products and polyester fabrics, then you want the Sublojet ink set. If your main focus for using your Virtuoso printer is to use is to print on garments and you want to do a lot of 50-50 blends or dark fabrics, then you want the Easy Subly ink set. Okay, that was a lot to take in. <laughs> Do we have any questions from, I, from that? I have a question, but I also have a couple uh, shout outs still. Um, <laughs> let me get back to these shout outs just real quick. All right. Missouri's in the house. Brooklyn, uh, Fort Wayne, Indiana is checking in. Ohio is checking in. Savannah, Georgia is checking in. Yes, we did. Uh, yeah, decided it, it, it didn't does. want to participate. I, yes, it did. <laughs> um, uh, Pittsburgh, California is checking in. Okay. What side of the paper do you print on? Because there is, I think there is on yeah. that paper, there's like a watermark. So when you're putting um, the text print paper into the printer, you're going to do watermark facing you. Back side of the paper up. So that way when it goes through the printer, it will print on the bright white side. For the easy subly, you're going to put the back side I have it by the roll by the yard here. The back side, which is the shiny side, that side face up in your printer, and then you'd have to cut the sheet. So you have to cut this uh, yard if you have this type of printer. Um, the back side of the sheet up, so that's the shiny side. So that way it comes out and prints on the the dull white vinyl side. Okay. Knocking things over here. All right. All right. Any other questions? Um. Not yet. Okay. Hello, Florida, Miami. Hello, Kentucky. Oi. All right. So just to kind of just to kind of recap, if you already have the Sublojet ink in your printer and you want to print on garments and use the Easy Subly vinyl, you can absolutely do so with that ink set. You just need the Easy Subly vinyl. And mask. Now, if you have the Easy Subly ink set in your printer and you want to print onto your hard surface products, you can absolutely do so with your text print paper. So the different paper will, will give you the option to print on different substrates. You don't need a second printer in order to do so. Okay. Is there a like? Is there a color differential between papers? Like when you print on a paper, does the color come out differently? So when you're, let me kind of step back a little. When you initially print on your on your papers, yes, no matter what ink set you're going to do, the color is going to come out kind of desaturated. When you put it in your heat press and print your product, that's when all the colors will really you know, show up and be vivid and vibrant like you're expecting. Now, with that being said, I did say that it's interchangeable, right? So if you have the Sublojet ink, you can print on the text print paper and the Easy Subly. When you are printing on the Easy Subly, you might see a slight color shift when you print on it. It will appear, the colors will appear a little bit different because the Sublojet ink wasn't designed for the Easy Subly vinyl. Will the color shift be a lot? Absolutely not. Would your customer notice it? Probably not at all. Could you modify it in the print manager to get it to look as you'd want it? Absolutely. And the same for the Easy Subly. When you're printing the Easy Subly ink on text print paper, you will notice that slight shift as well. It might appear a little bit duller than you would expect the Sublojet ink. But again, would your customer notice it? Probably not. Would you notice, maybe if you are if you know the difference between the two inks, but it's an absolutely acceptable and very nice print um, coming from either ink set onto either substrate or either paper. Okay, is there a problem, like, like somebody's asking why they just come out so dark when they print? 
Why do they? Why is there an adjustment that they have to make? Whenever you're printing with the Virtuoso printer, you want to print through the print manager. That is something that really controls your color. If you're not using the print manager, that's your very first step. Go on to Sawgrass's website, download that print manager, and print directly through there. If you're using their online designer, it will naturally print right through to the print manager. If you're using an outside source like Photoshop or Illustrator, then you'll want to set that up within those programs to print to the print manager and not directly to the Sawgrass printer. So it's just a setting as to where it needs to go. But that print manager, that's going to be your number one way to ensure your color. Very good questions. <laughs> <laughs> Keep them coming. If you have other questions or you're not quite sure, or you know, you want me to explain the difference between the two again, absolutely. So uh, chime on in. Can you hold up the paper again just to show the different? Yep. So this is here. I'll. The Easy Assembly comes in sheets as well. I just have it by the yard right now. But it's if you're familiar with vinyl, it's just like vinyl. There's kind of a rough texture on this side and on this side, and then a shiny backing. And then the text print paper is just pure white on one side and then a watermark on the back side. Okay. <laughs> the dog wants to make a cameo. <laughs> He doesn't want to feel left out. I'm just not. All right. All right. Do we have any other questions coming through? Uh, all of these things that you have in front of you were printed with which type of paper or? So I have the Sublajet ink system in my printer, and I am printing everything here on this side with the text print paper and the sublajet. This was printed with Easy Subly ink and that was the with the Easy Subly vinyl. Is it the the ink that's in it in the printer? Is that a reusable ink or is that a re, re You need a new cartridge. What am I trying to say here? <laughs> a refillable. A, no, it's not refillable. You need a brand new cartridge every time you order. So if you are low on yellow We'll ship you an entire yellow cartridge. Um, Sawgrass does not like to use the refillable, and I can't see where I'm going on the back. There we go. <laughs> when you're behind it, it's hard to see. Um, Sawgrass doesn't like to allow you to refill because there's a lot of things that can happen. There's dust and dirt that can get within the cartridges that could really cause the issues when you're refilling the ink on your own. There's a lot of other, you know, there's human error, putting the wrong cartridge in the wrong color. Or the, I'm sorry, the wrong ink in the wrong color spot. So Sawgrass only offers the pure cartridge directly from them. That, that way they ensure the quality. And all of their cartridges have an expiration date as well. So it's really, you know, valuable to make sure that the ink that you're using is current and hasn't expired yet. Because that's going to affect your prints as well. Does ink really get old though? It it does. It actually does affect uh, how it looks. So oh. yeah. It, well, I'm assuming it would dry out. It it would it would actually dull the color, so it wouldn't come out pure color. It would just the colors would would appear a little off. Gotcha. So you always want to make sure that your inks are, you know, within the expiration date. Okay. Is that usually something that's on sale? The ink, or is it just a the ink is very rare that it goes on sale. The last sale that we had was a Black Friday sale with it, but that's uh, very rare for the ink to go on sale. So if you do find it on sale, snatch it up. But again, there's an expiration date. So if you don't need it, don't buy it because you're going, you might not uh, be able to use it within that time frame. Okay. Um, do, 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 do. Is it, I'm, I'm assuming when you print, right, yes. it's all in a setting. Yes. So is it, I guess, is it different to change like how you print or how you press things depending on the ink? 
Like if you need something really, really saturated or really dark, does it depend on it? Like, I guess when you're going to press something, does it depend on the heat? Whenever you're pressing a product, the only thing you have to determine is what uh, setting the time and temp is for that particular item. So if I'm, I'm working with a mug, I want to look on, our, look on the website, see what the mug is set to, like what our time and temp and pressure need to be. And then that's the setting that you'll use. So no matter what ink set you use, you're always going to follow the direction that's listed for the substrate itself. It doesn't matter the ink or the paper. The you'll always follow the the directions on the website for that product. And it really doesn't matter if, it's, if you're going for, for pale colors or if you're going for uh, saturated. The amount of ink on your paper won't affect the length of time that you print it for. Okay. All right. Now, real quick, let's just say I'm going to give you a scenario here. Uh oh, scenario. I just bought all this equipment. Uh huh. I don't know what I'm doing. I want to use my sawgrass printer. I have this ink. I don't know what I'm printing. <laughs> how do I do it? Where do? How do I decide which paper I want to use? Okay, perfect. So, very first step. When you get your printer and you unbox it, we send you an email that says, welcome to, welcome to the family and make sure when you unbox your printer to contact and reach out to Sawgrass. So that way they can walk you through and give you step-by-step -step for installation. And they'll also walk you through that printer. So there's kind of like appointment times that you can make for them. And that's, that would be my number one suggestion. Now, if you don't want to wait for an appointment time and you want to get jump, you know, jump right in, then when you unbox your printer, go to, go to Sawgrass's website, download the software and the print manager and give yourself access to the creative online designer. And then when you have all the ink and you're ready to go, then you'll determine what you'll be printing on. If you're printing on a hard surface product or 100% polyester, then you'll want to put the text print paper in your printer. If you're going to print on garments, 50-50 blend, cotton or cotton, or dark fabric or light fabric, then you're going to want to use the Easy Subly Vinyl in your printer. Caught it. And we also just put a quick video up of an unboxing of your, of your sawgrass. So you can always go right there and kind of see the steps for unboxing and getting your first print out too. So um, that's currently, I believe, on YouTube for you to take a look at. Okay, your dog is getting antsy over here. I hear him, he yes. He can't get his bone. <laughs> uh, do you, okay, you said about the, uh, the print manager. Do they update it often or is it the same? It's updated when needed. Um, and that will, when you go to print, it will say whether or not you need to upgrade it or update it, but it's, it's not often that it requires an upgrade. Copy. And these do have a two year warranty as well. So the SG 500s and the SG 1000, you have a two year warranty for the printer. So, you know, really great to have that, you know, extra little bit of cushion for your warranty. Okay. Now, I, I, there's a question about the shirt and printing on dark fabrics. Yeah. Um, they said, how were you able to print on the dark shirt? So this is not directly sublimation. So your true sublimation ink can print on 100% white polyester fabric only. Uh, sublimation only loves polyester, polymer, or any kind of poly. When you're doing something else, this is 100% black cotton. This is easy subly. So instead of printing directly on this fabric, because it won't work, you'll print on the easy subly vinyl, this here. You'll weed away the excess, you'll mask it. And now you're able to print or press this onto your fabric. This is the easy subly vinyl. This can go on any color fabric, any any garment type, but it's still 
it's basically printable vinyl that you sublimate on. So it's not a direct sublimation and you will feel it as a vinyl. So a regular sublimated 100% poly T, you're not gonna feel it, you're dyeing the fibers, the ink is really in there. This the vinyl will sit on top of your fabric and you'll feel it a little bit depending on you know how, how thick um, your design is. Okay. So, okay. I know, I'm just like, duh. Okay, so for <laughs> me, I only use black ink. And I know that there's no such thing as white ink. Right. right? Not okay. for this system. There's no white ink. But right. there is a white ink that you could use. Not for this system. Okay. That's something else. All right. <laughs> but we don't have we don't have that system that offers the white ink. But if you are if you do need white to appear and you have a white garment, those areas you would just leave white in your design and then it would naturally just show the substrate. So for example, all the white areas, let me see if I have, oh, okay, perfect. So the the white of, of her shirt, that is just the uh, the photo panel backing. So the photo panel already has a white sheen to it. So that is just the true color of the board. So you don't need to print the white. Most of your products for sublimation already come with a white coating. So any area that is white in your design will actually be the coating of the product that you're printing on. Okay. If for some reason you need the white on your dark fabric, then the easy subly is white. So again, any area that will be white will just be the easy subly vinyl left by itself. Okay. All right. Now, have you ever experienced like a blockage in your ink? You know, to be honest with the Virtuoso printer, I have not experienced that. The I keep my printer on all the time. It runs through its cycles. It uh, constantly keeps the ink moving. So it's designed to not block in the lines and get that kind of pocket. Um, that is really important to keep your Virtuoso printer on, plugged in, let it do its routine maintenance, and then you shouldn't have any issues. But you can always do a head cleaning if if you find that there's an issue. Okay. And I'm, I'm assuming that's with any printer that yeah. happens, right? Okay. I think your dog has a question. <laughs> you think so? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Okay. All right. Do we have any other questions? Nothing left. All, All right. right. So let's recap. Easy Subly ink and Subliget ink in your Virtuoso printer can print on any of the products. The only thing that you have to do is change your paper. So text print our paper for 100% polyester and your hard surface products. Easy subly paper vinyl for your dark and uh, your your dark color fabric and your cotton cotton polyester fabrics. So those are your two options. Don't get another printer. You don't need one, and don't swap out the inks. That's not good. Just focus on your paper. So text print paper or your easy subly vinyl, and then you're able to sublimate on pretty much anything. Thanks. All right. Well, thank you all so much for watching. If you have any questions or need further assistance, please feel free to reach out to us. We're available through email, phone, or chat, and uh, we will see you here next week. Bye, everybody. Bye, guys.